traveling on the river of time. People have asked Lauren if they lived a life in Lemuria. So she created this exercise to share with you. You'll take a journey using the past lives format she created for clients, then expanded upon in her book, Traveling on the River of Time. You will get to see, feel, know, and understand from the perspective of your higher self, the Lemurian you were and want to be again. This process is easy, painless, and will ideally answer many questions. This process is also intended to take you to new and wonderful feelings for your new Lemurian self and a deeper expression of Lemurian experience. I will ask you to make it up during this exercise. Making it up allows you to use your spiritual imagination. Using your spiritual imagination is a way of joining with your higher self. You do not need to focus on your logical mind, which is already strong enough. So you will put it aside during this exercise. Don't worry, you can pick up your logical mind when you're done. The reason for this exercise is to activate the skills below. Limber up your intuition and spiritual muscles by making it up, using your spiritual imagination. Discover who you were in Lemuria. Find information from within you and your higher self about what Lemuria felt and looked like. Discover the job you did while in Lemuria. Recognize people you knew in Lemuria, who you know in this lifetime, and what those relationships were and are. Find talents you didn't know about stemming from Lemuria and elsewhere. Understand vows, resolutions, oaths, or decisions you made after being in your Lemurian lifetime that you brought forward with you. Remember your experiences, work, and skills connected to your higher self. The information you will receive is not merely interesting, it is vital for your life and work today. Now that all of us on this planet are in the final ninth wave of conscious co-creation, we are working to create a golden age, a Garden of Eden, a blissfully happy home on our planet. Before you begin, you will start with your lifetime just prior to being born in this current life in order for you to understand how to do the process before we move on to exploring your Lemurian lifetime. If you can't remember, don't worry, you'll make it up. Here are the steps. Allow yourself an hour of uninterrupted time. Keep a notebook at your side to make notes. Take a deep breath and relax. Prepare yourself to be receptive and contemplative. Set aside your logical mind. Imagine that you're pulling it off like a hat and putting it on a table next to you. 
you won't need it for this experience. You'll be making it up as you go along. You cannot anticipate any exact answer as to what you will see, feel, hear, or sense on your voyage of discovery, and you'll have no way to prove or disprove what you uncover. Logic, rationality, and reasoning will be of no help nor necessary on this expedition. However, what you unearth will make profound sense to you and feel correct. Plus, you'll be creating a valuable tool to gain information and learn how to trust your inner guidance, even if you have never done so before now. If you wish, you may close your eyes periodically in order to focus better. Imagine that your soul's vessel is moored on the river of time. Get in and set sail or start the engine. If you like, you can bring a trusted friend, guide, counselor, teacher, or sage with you. You can pilot the boat or let someone else do it for you. Then begin traveling back along the river of time. You will notice scenery around you. Take your time. Relax. You will see piers, docks, harbors, ports, anchorages, wharfs, and moorings. Continue to travel along the river until you find the place that was your most recent life. It may be a dock. It may be a clearing at the shore. If you are unsure where to stop, that's okay. You're learning to trust your intuition. If you're confused or hesitant, I encourage you to just make it up. But what if I'm fantasizing, you may ask, imagining, dreaming, daydreaming? Those are links to your inner world and to your past lives. So encourage yourself. You don't have to know for sure. You don't have to figure it out. Your logic is not important here. Only your experiences and your intuitions have meaning in this quest. When you find the mooring on the river of time that represents your most recent past life, guide your boat there. Tie your boat at the dock, get out, and walk up the pier to your destination. At the end of the pier is a closed door. Open the door and walk through, closing it behind you. In front of you is a mirror. Look into it and examine the person that you see reflected there. It is you as you appeared in that lifetime. Are you male or female? What race are you? Are you old or young? What color is your hair?
What color are your eyes? How are you dressed? What you are wearing will help in locating the period of time you find yourself in. Are you dressed well or poorly? Rags or expensive clothing. Your clothing or lack of clothing will determine the social economic milieu you find yourself in and perhaps are a part of. Now ask yourself, what country are you in? Can you determine this by how you're dressed? If you're unsure, make it up. Next to the mirror is a calendar. What is the month, day, and year? If you're undecided, make it up. A date will pop into your head. Ask yourself, what is my age? If you don't know or can't decide, make it up. An answer will pop into your head. Go to the first important event of that life now. How old are you during this event? What are the circumstances of this event? Use all your senses to experience it. Feel it. See it. Hear. Even smell what is happening. Are you with an individual? A group? Describe the person or persons. What are people saying to you? Are you? Are you outside or inside? What is the weather like? Describe the countryside to yourself. Are you near a body of water? Mountains, pasture, jungle, desert. In a room of a simple house, a castle, a cave. Describe it, feel it, see it, hear it, let your senses become acute, be patient, and let the clarity arise of its own accord. If you're unsure, confused, or don't perceive anything, make it up.
Don't be worried that you might be wrong or mistaken. Nothing is erroneous or incorrect in this experience. You're learning to trust yourself and to have faith in whatever is revealed for yourself. Let the answers pop into your head. What does this event mean to you? If you're unsure or don't know, make it up. What are your emotions? Did you create any decisions based on this event? If you find yourself getting upset, take a deep breath, slowly exhale, and relax. This method is not meant to bring you pain, rather illumination and release. If you wish, you may detach yourself from any upsetting feelings and simply be an observer. Take a long, deep breath and slowly exhale. Relax. After you have thoroughly examined this experience to your satisfaction, go to the next important event of your life. Go there now. How old are you during this event? What are the circumstances of this event? Use all your senses to experience it, feel it, see it, hear what is happening. Are you with an individual or group? What are they saying to you? Are there any sense you can discern? Can you hear any sounds? Are you? Are you outside or inside? What is the weather like? Describe the countryside. 
Are you near a body of water? Mountains? Pasture? Jungle? Desert? Are you in a room of a house, a castle, a cave, a village? Describe it for yourself. Feel it. See it. Hear it. Smell it. Be patient and let the clarity arise of its own accord. If you are unsure, confused, or don't perceive anything, make it up. Let go of worry that you might be wrong or mistaken. Nothing is erroneous or incorrect in this experience. You're learning to trust yourself and to have faith and whatever comes up for yourself. Answers will simply pop into your head. What does this second event mean to you? If you're unsure or don't know, make it up. What emotions do you feel? Did you make any decisions based on this event? If you find yourself getting upset, take a deep breath, slowly exhale, and relax. This method is not meant to bring you pain, rather illumination and release. You can float above the situation to feel more detached. Take your time to soak in all the details of this event. Is this event connected in any way to the first event? What do these two events mean to you? Is this second event connected in any important way to the other event? Do they fit together? In what way? If you're unsure or don't know, make it up. Is this event or lifetime connected to people you know today in your current lifetime? Describe. Take your time to soak in all the details of this event.
breathe in and exhale. Relax. After you've thoroughly investigated this experience to your satisfaction, go to the moment just before your death in that lifetime. Be there now. How old are you? What is your physical condition? How did you get to that condition? Are one or more people with you? Who are they? What did they mean to you? If no one is there with you, why not? Is there anyone with you that you recognize from your current lifetime? How did your life change before your death? Was it for the better? Was it for the worse? What do you think about that lifetime as you look at these events? Are there any emotions, regrets, Resolutions, decisions, take a slow, deep breath and let it out. Relax. Let yourself slide out of your physical body as you sense your body dying. Feel release and peace as you do so. As you rise towards the sky, imagine a brilliant gold luminescence above you. Waiting there for you is your higher self, with a bright light filled with love. You feel joy and relief at seeing your higher self and your higher self is joyful to be with you as well. You merge with your higher self effortlessly and you feel the delight and ecstasy of that reunion. As you do so, you turn your attention towards the body and the life you have just exited. You now have infinite knowledge and wisdom to understand that life. You can receive messages from within the, your higher self. If you get stuck, make it up. What did you finish in that life?
Did you leave anything undone? Did you accomplish what you had set out to do? Did you meet the souls you intended to meet? Is there any grief remaining in the body and life you have just departed? Remorse? Bitterness? Anger? Sadness? What other emotions did you have upon dying? Did you make any decisions as to what you want to do in the future for further learning, growth, and evolution, and to balance the scales of that life? recognize any of the people you knew in that life as being in your current life? If so, who are they in your present lifetime? What is the type and quality of your relationship with each person that you knew while in that other lifetime? As you assimilate all this information, take a breath and liberate the knowledge. Breathe out all your emotions and decisions and let them depart. Watch them rise like weightless hot air balloons up into the gold light above you where they dissolve easily and gently, evaporating into nothingness. Thank yourself for receiving the knowledge of the lifetime you have just observed. Allow forgiveness and gratitude for who you were and what you learned to flood into your awareness. Thank all the people who participated in that life with you, no matter how easy or difficult each relationship had been. Take a deep breath and slowly exhale. Relax. Now fully release that lifetime and let it dissolve completely. We'll move on to explore Lemuria. Exit through the door you entered from that prior life, get back into your boat, release it from its mooring, and begin once again to travel back 
along the river of time. When you find the mooring on the river of time that leads to your life in Lemuria, guide your boat there. Fasten your boat at the dock. Get out and walk up the pier to your destination. At the end of the pier is a closed door. Open the door and walk in, closing it behind you. In front of you is a mirror. Look into it and examine the person you see there. That person is you in your Lemurian lifetime. Are you male or female? Old or young? What color is your hair? Your eyes? How are you dressed? Next to the mirror is a calendar. What is the year? If you are undecided, make it up. A date will pop into your mind. It most likely will be thousands of years ago. Make it up. Ask yourself, what is my age? If you don't know or can't decide, make it up. An age will pop into your mind, which might be hundreds or even thousands of years old. Go to the first important event of that Lemurian life. How old are you during this event? What are the circumstances of this event? Use all your senses to experience it. Feel it. See it hear what is happening. Are there any people with you during this event? If so, what are they saying to you? Can you discern any sense? Can you hear any sounds? Where are you? Are you outside or inside? What is the weather like?
Describe the countryside. Are you near a body of water? Mountains? Pasture? Jungle? Desert? Are you in a room of a house? A cave? Describe it to yourself. See it. Touch it. Be patient and let the clarity arise of its own accord. If you are unsure, confused, or don't perceive anything, make it up. You are not wrong or mistaken in your perceptions. Everything is correct in your experience. You are learning to trust yourself and to have faith in whatever comes up for you. What does this event mean to you? If you are unsure or don't know, make it up. What are your emotions? What are you feeling? Did you create any decisions based on this event? If you find yourself getting upset, take a deep breath, exhale slowly, and relax. This method is not meant to bring you pain, rather illumination and release. If you wish, you may detach yourself from any upsetting feelings and be an observer. Take another long deep breath and slowly exhale. After you've thoroughly investigated that event to your satisfaction, go to the next important second event of your Lemurian lifetime. Go there now. How old are you during this event? What are the circumstances of this event? Use all your senses to experience it. Feel it, see it, hear what is happening. Are 
other people with you. Describe the individual or group. What are they saying to you? Can you discern any sense? Can you hear any sounds? Where are you? Are you outside or inside? What is the weather like? Describe the countryside to yourself. Are you near a body of water, mountains, pasture, in a room of a house, a cave? Describe it, touch it, see it, hear it, smell it. Be patient and let the clarity arise of its own accord. If you're unsure, confused, or don't perceive anything, make it up. You're not wrong or mistaken in your perceptions. Everything is correct in your experience. You are learning to trust yourself and to have faith in whatever comes up for you. What does this mean to you? If you're unsure or don't know, make it up. What are your emotions? If you find yourself getting upset, Take a deep breath, exhale slowly, and relax. This method is not meant to bring you pain, rather illumination and release. You can float above the situation to feel more detached. Did you make any decisions based on this event? Is this event connected in any way to the first event? Take your time to soak in all the details of this event. Breathe in and Exhale, relax.
After you've thoroughly investigated this second experience to your satisfaction, go to the next important third event. Go there now. How old are you during this event? What are the circumstances of this event? Use all your senses to experience it. Feel it. See it. Hear what is happening. Can you discern any sense? Can you hear any sounds? Where are you? Are you outside or inside? What is the weather like? Describe the countryside to yourself. Are you near a body of water? Mountains? pasture, in a room of a house, a cave. Describe it to yourself. Feel it. See it. Hear it. Are you with an individual or group? What are people saying to you? What action do you observe? Are you part of it? Be patient and let the clarity arise of its own accord. If you're unsure, confused, or don't perceive anything, make it up. You're not wrong or mistaken in your perceptions. Everything is correct in your experience. You're learning to trust yourself and to have faith in whatever comes up for you. What does this event mean to you? If you're unsure or don't know, make it up. What are your emotions?
did you create any decisions based on this event? If you find yourself getting upset, take a deep breath, exhale slowly, and relax. This method is not meant to bring you pain, rather illumination and release. You can float above the situation to feel more detached. What do these three events mean to you? How do they fit together? If you're unsure or don't know, make it up. You can jot down notes in your notebook to remember. What are your emotions? Is this event connected in any way to the first or second events? time to soak in all the details of this event. What does this third event mean to you? If you're unsure or don't know, make it up. Did you make any decisions based on these three events? Is this event connected to any person's you know in your current lifetime. Take your time to soak in all the details of this event. After you have thoroughly investigated the third experience to your satisfaction, take a breath let it out and relax. Now you will move to the moment just before death in your Lemurian lifetime. How old are you? What is your physical condition?
How did you get to that condition? Are one or more people with you? Who are they? What did they mean to you? Are they people you know today, in your current lifetime? If no one is there, why not? How did your life change before your death? For the better? For the worse? What do you think about your Lemurian lifetime as you look at these events? Do you have any emotions, regrets, resolutions? Did you make any decisions as you lay dying? Take a slow, deep breath and exhale. Let yourself slide out of your physical body as you sense your body dying. Feel the release and peace as you do so. As you rise towards the sky, imagine a brilliant gold light above you, waiting there for you is your higher self, who is a bright light filled with love. You feel joy and relief at seeing your higher self. And your higher self is happy to see you as well. You merge into that self effortlessly. And you feel the delight and ecstasy of that reintegration. As you do so, you turn your attention towards the Lemurian body and the life you have just exited. You now have infinite knowledge and wisdom to understand that life. You can receive messages from within your higher self. What did you finish in that life? Did you leave anything undone? Did you accomplish what you had set out to do? Did you meet the souls you intended to meet? Is there any grief remaining in that body and the life you've just left? 
remorse, bitterness, anger, sadness. What other emotions did you have upon dying? Did you make any decisions as to what you want to do in the future for further learning, growth, and evolution, and to balance the scales of that life? recognize any of the people you knew in that life as being in your current life? If so, who are they in your present lifetime? What is the quality of your relationship with each person that you knew while there? As you assimilate all this information, take a deep breath and exhale, liberating the knowledge. Let go of all your emotions and decisions. Watch those rise into the gold light above you and dissolve easily and gently, evaporating into life. Thank yourself for receiving the knowledge of this lifetime you have observed and allow forgiveness and gratitude for who you were to flood into your awareness. Thank each person who participated in that life with you, no matter how easy or difficult each relationship had been. Take a deep breath and slowly exhale. Relax. Now it is time to return home. Exit through the door you entered. Get back into the boat. Release it from its mooring and return home along the river of time. When you return, get out of the boat, you're back in present time. Take a deep breath and slowly exhale. Stretch your arms. Feel your feet on the ground. Feel the chair beneath you. Open your eyes and look around. Pick up your logical mind and put it back in place. Realize that you have taken an extraordinary journey in search of yourself. The lifetimes and events you uncovered and experienced will help in therapeutic changes to your current self, relationships, health, finances, and attitude. You can return to this method again and again to learn, recover, heal, and awaken more fully into the pleasure 
and knowledge of who you are in this lifetime. Congratulations. <laughs>